many. Too many in the earth, says the Lord, are filled with fear, worry, anxiety. And they have put their understanding, their interpretation of the times upon these times. And yet, they stand and they look at the earth at this time. And they look at the plants, the manifestation of what has been evil, what has been dark, what has been corrupt, and what has been by the hands of the enemy and the forces of darkness. And yet as they come before my throne, they speak of what China shall do. Russia, Iran, North Korea, they speak of the enemy's plans and the intent of evil. Yet I say to you and to those who are filled with fear at this time, you stand in the same spirit of those who stood outside of a fiery furnace and it was turned even seven times hotter and yet there were those on the outside that were waiting for a result that did not happen because there was a restraint no matter how hot no matter how much the government the king intended to do to bring harm to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And so I speak and I say the enemy has sought to preempt war, to raise up that which would be the war to end all things. But I say that it is not the time. And yet there were those who stood outside the den where the lions dwelt in Daniel. And they expected Daniel to be eaten alive by the lions, even the king. And there are those who say and think the same thing. We are finished. America is finished. Israel is finished. But God says, wait. Who was the one that restrained the mouths of the lions and freed Daniel? It was I. And then they stood upon the Red Sea, thinking, that Pharaoh and his army would succeed. But what did I do? I stepped in at the right time. And I stepped in and I showed that through the power of my presence and my glory that I could save a nation quickly and in a day. And I speak this for those who think that things shall be dragged out and that the enemy will get the upper hand. And the solution is for the Lord to take his people at this time. Yet I see something else, says God. I don't just see the plans of the enemy, for my spirit is here and my spirit restrains, and so my spirit shall restrain. I shall restrain the mouth of the dragon, I shall restrain the claws of the bear, and I shall once again put my thumb upon the mouth of the one who will raise his lips and his mouth in North Korea. And God says, and I say to you, Iran, you will try, and there will be that which will see, be seen in the air. But I will strike down the attempts that you will be put in your place, and you will be embarrassed. That will lead to great uprising within your nation, Iran, that will cause a regime change that the earth will see and behold that God is the God of the kings of the earth. What are you looking at? What are you expecting? What do you believe the outcome shall be of the events that are in the earth? I have already told you that I have promised something to the honor of my son and his blood. It is the harvest, the greatest harvest that has ever been given to him. 
and I'm looking at something else. I am seeing what they have done to the children. And there are those that are even with me who were murdered at the hands of legislation, abortion, that join hands, they pray in heaven. And they have said, and I've spoke this to you before, they have said, Father, we live with you now, but let others who come into the earth, let them walk upon the soil of the land and fulfill their dreams that we never got to. And God says, I have heard their prayers and I have gathered their prayers and I have poured them back upon the earth that I am looking at the children, the youth that will arise in this time because I'm giving a generation to them and it will not be given so that the earth can come together with a war that shall steal their lives and their blood speak from the soil of the earth. But rather I have said there will be wars and there will be rumors of wars but I also said even though darkness would arise and gross darkness upon the people yet I the Lord shall arise upon thee and I say to you what are you looking at are you expecting me to arise I am I shall and the earth will know that there is something supernatural that is taking place where they will not be able to explain it with their eschatology. They'll not be able to explain it with their theology, their politics, their weapons, their armory. They will not even be able to explain it by human reasoning. For I, the Ancient of Days, and the God of Wisdom shall supersede and I will show myself strong in a way that will cause something to happen. It shall be mouths shall be gaped wide open. And I will do this. I will do this, says the Lord. For some mouths that are gaped open, I'll put my fist in it. Others, I'll fill their mouths with laughter. And there shall come once again in the church, in the nations, and even in the streets why are men laughing what is this strange phenomenon of laughter and god says i'm doing it to once again show you that the harshness of the season that the enemy wants shall not last Lord. Lord. come on just worship him Father, we pray for the peace of Israel, the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the restraint of the Almighty God over the cities of our great nation, the United States, and even over the people of the earth. Restrain the hand of, God, of the enemy, God, and show the might and the power of who you are, as you have said. And may our eyes look to see deliverance to a Daniel and a lion's den, as you said, and Shadrach, Meshach, and for the fourth man, the manifestation of you, God, to appear. This is what we choose to look at. We look at you. We look to you in our honor. And we worship you, Lord. How many of you are looking to God? Just tell him that. I think he needs to hear it from us. Say, Lord, we look to you. We look to you. Some of you are watching right now, and some of you are in this room, and you're believing God for even employment. You've been out of work. And I just speak that the same God who just spoke to us prophetically is the same God that provides for you swiftly and quickly. That jobs open up. Your business begins to flourish. And God, I'm asking for something. I'm asking within 21 days that there is a shift and a turnaround for the people right now who are in the sound of my voice that 
desperately need something to change. And I pray for them. If you could do it in the days of Daniel, you could do it in our day. If you could cause there to be a shift in 21 days when Daniel prayed and bring angelic intervention, I'm asking you to do this over Israel, over the United States, the nations of the earth. God, do it. Shift it as you have said, as you have promised. That the earth will know that you are God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Pastor Brenda, do you have anything? You're good. Let's give God a big shout of praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, what I'll do next week is I will, I'll, I'll share with you a couple prophecies. One was from April 30th where God said that they would strike at Israel. And then one from our conference, if you remember, God was talking about how Iran would seek to strike uh, Israel. And we'll share some of those, and then I'll share a couple scriptures, and we'll preach to you. But in the meantime, I thought it was very interesting what the Lord spoke to us, and that is this. What are you looking at? You know, two nights ago, the Lord spoke to me in my sleep, and I, uh, uh, is it awakened or awoke? I don't remember which thing. I try not to be woke, so... Even if I'm awoke, I try not to be awoke. I'm, I'm awakened. So whatever the proper English word is. And, I, and, and as he was speaking to me, he, he said something to me. He said, Hank, I have come to adjust your perspective. And, you know, can I tell you, I, I, I was following with a little bit of a oomph when he said that to me, like, you're adjusting my perspective? And he began to talk to me, and there's some things that I'm seeing that he's telling me to wait at the right time, and it will come. The word of the Lord is going to is going to come because I've seen some things. And he said to me, he said, I'm adjusting your perspective. And I had a little bit of a prideful oomph that like, I don't need my perspective. You know, adjusted. I'm the guy that's prophesying here, God. Right? I don't listen to the news. And he corrected me. He said, it grieves me that people look more, you know, you notice all the Bible prophecy people that are coming out all of a sudden. Where are you to stand for America before? But boy, now you're connecting Gog, Magog, Egog, and, or Egad, and at the time of eggnog. And they're lining everything up. And I'm like, well, you look more for the Antichrist than you do the Christ. And, 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 and this has offended God. And so I think we need to, you heard what he said prophetically, but I think all of us need to just take that moment and, and quit reading the newspapers and seeing what China's saying and what Russia's saying. And Do you realize what they were saying about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? I never thought of that until it came out of my mouth. And what they were saying about Daniel and the lion's den. Oh, yeah, they were speaking loud, but ultimately, what happened? But the Lord prevailed. Amen? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to give somebody a high five, say the Lord prevailed, and then I want you to say this. Say, I bet I know. I bet I know what state you were born in and it's not the state of confusion if anybody does that you have the right to pray for them all right but greet one another in the name of the lord amen